Hey guys, it's Mike from Get Your Rock Out. I'm here in Manchester with Scarlet Riot. How are you guys doing? Hey, you not too bad. How's it still going? Excellent. Awesome. Mental every night, so doing good. Sweet. What's it like being on the road with Kevin's basement? Yeah, it's, you know, it's been really good, man. It's, uh, they're a bunch of great guys. They've been looking after us real, real well, so yeah, it's been quite good. Sweet. Now, uh, it's been a big year for you guys with the release of your debut album. Are you pleased with the reception it's got? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's Everyone likes it. So, I mean, Kareem seems to like it. Um, the novel magazines have really taken to it. So, we even got reviews that people were saying that all bad things about it, and they give us a great rating at the end of it. So, even if they don't like it, they're liking it, which is great. <laughs> so, <laughs> not, oh, it I think was it 4K from Kerrang? 4K from Kerrang. And you got 4Ks for your download appearance as yeah, well. We did, yeah, yeah. Do you get irritated that they just won't give you that 5K sometimes? Yeah, well, you know, you, you can't be perfect. <laughs> no, no, obviously. Yeah, we've got to work our way up there, so pay our dues. Yeah. Tell us about that download appearance. I think that was on the strength of uh, the EP, wasn't it? They, they heard it yeah, before, yeah. we must have these guys. Yeah, I mean, we're pretty lucky with that. I mean, um, so we emailed them, they copied about them, you know, booking us, and uh, yeah, I mean, it says a lot what we do. And so yeah, I mean, it, was, it was good. It was nice, nice for someone to take us up on the merit of that. And would you say there's been, uh, are there any big differences now that you've got an album out, you know, like being a band on the road or things just kind of the same? I think um, the assumptions have been better, aren't they? I mean, everyone uh, kind of, like obviously you've got more material to play, which is better, but then everyone kind of respects you a little bit more. Obviously it's not just like, oh, you just record a couple of tracks, like, oh, you're actually in series, man. you've got your album out now, you kind of, you're going for a bit more. So yeah, yeah. It, it's opened a few more doors for us. It, everyone takes a lot more seriously now, which is what we're about. We're trying to obviously get up there. It, it's, it's worked wonders. I mean, we're on this tour now, for example. It's a pretty big tour for us to do. So it's, it's good stuff like that, which is good. And how about uh, fan response? Has that changed in any way? Or do? I don't think it's changed. I think um, I think the new material is on the albums. You know, really brought new people into it um, to listen to the older stuff as well. So I mean, it's. Uh, yeah, I think, I, think it's, I think it's been generally improved the fan thing. I think it's broadened the fan base yeah. as well, because the albums are... Obviously with the EPs you've only got like four or five tracks to do a certain thing, which now we've got on this one ten. So there's a lot more for people to get into. Like, if you've got like one song, there is another song on there for you. And it's such a broad range of stuff that... You, there's, there's, there's always, even if there's just a ten second of song that you like, there's always something I think that you can get your goals into and listen to. Uh, there's a couple of tracks, Faded Memories and What We've Become, getting radio airplay, getting significant uh, TV airplay as far as yeah. I can see. Uh, why did you choose those songs to be singles? Was there anything that stood out from them? For, for me there wasn't really anything that particularly stood out. I mean, uh, I think the album was written, you know, it's, it sounds bad, but not. It was written in mind of, so we could take any song from it and it could be a single. So I mean, it really it was just what, what we preferred to send out at the time, and you know, that way I really it was. Let's look at the drawer. Yeah, yeah, really, yeah. So which had a, you know, we had a word about it and just decided on that one, really. So. And do you think that either of them could, uh, with significant airplay, maybe pervade the uh, rock fans' consciousness? You know, one of those tracks that gets airplay all the time, you know, maybe it could... Uh, I like to think so. Yeah, we would hope so, yeah. yeah. The Faded Memory in particular, it's a very uh, anthemic track, isn't it? That's starting yeah. to get very well known. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's, it's gone really well. I mean, Radio 1 uh, took us up on that as well, and we've got a playlist for that. Yeah, not the Radio 1 thing, so I mean, it's... Uh, yeah, and hopefully a bit more it can yeah, come to something really good. Well. Alright, well we talked about download, uh, you also played Bloodstock, I think, was that the uh, acoustic set that you did? Yeah, yeah it was, yeah, yeah. What was that like, all the differences maybe between the two? Yeah, it was really good, I mean, we, were, we were a bit worried to start with, with the actual crowd, because obviously it's like predominantly a metal festival, which, I mean, we're through through like more of a rock thing, you know, I see. So we kind of thought, well, doing our stuff acoustically, it's going to be a bit like, uh, I don't know. Well, no, it, was, uh, it went down really well, everyone was digging it, we got great response, so, yeah, so it went down really well. Which festival do you say, like, for you guys was more important and which one do you think was more important for the band in terms of exposure? I'd say, I'd say more than anything, download was probably the more important one. Just because we were doing more exposure, yeah, yeah. because the stuff we play, it, the, suit, the festival is always more suited, but also, I suppose you could say we're on a higher up stage, so that increases the thing like higher up the poster, but 
tremendous ascension then you know you play all these shows you've got the album out what is the next step what do you think is going to be the next thing that, uh, that gets you to the next level uh, I, don't, I don't know really I mean uh, at the minute we're just looking at touring more we're looking at we're touring the album so hopefully, hopefully uh, we'll be getting you know getting a bit more off the back of the album as well um, next year we'll you know arena tours and stuff like that you know <laughs> no, I yeah no it's uh, yeah, we're just literally getting around anywhere we can, different places we haven't played. I mean, I mean, end of this tour we're in Exeter, Bournemouth, we've never been down there, so, you know. Yeah, I just think we get to new places, tour as much as we can, and hopefully release some new material later on this year. Alright, what can Manchester expect from the show tonight? Can. Can. <laughs> Probably going to destroy quite a lot of stuff. <laughs> but, yeah. but what was it like? It was Glasgow, wasn't it? It's kind of one of those things, you just kicked everything over at the end of the set. And it's like, oh, right, we've still got the rest of the tour to do, we've just broken everything. Let's, let's see how we're going to do this yeah. one. But there's yeah. energy, carnage, you know, it's a pretty typical scout ride, I think. Yeah. Pits, it is. We've had the Who here recently. So yeah, yeah, so why not? Pits yeah. tonight as well, I'm guessing. Yeah, we've got it's gonna be yeah, pits we'll tonight. Sold, sold out like 400, so yeah, just get some people going crazy, destroying the room. <laughs> but you're not allowed to skip out anymore, are you? So don't pit <laughs> at all. Like don't never pit. pit. <laughs> but if you want to jump on the person next to you, I can't stop you. <laughs> all right. Well, I guess we can wrap this up just as the music stops. So you have a message right into the camera for all our readers. Um, make sure you keep listening, keep looking at what we're doing. Um, Come see us at the show, and we'll talk, you know, we'll sit there and talk for hours, we can do that, you know. So, yeah, just come say hi, have a great time at the show. Buy the album. Yeah. Not promoting illegally downloading either, but if that's the only way you can afford it, why not? As long as you're listening. But we will find you. We will find <laughs> you and then eat you. <laughs> but yeah, listen to the album as well. That's it. Alright, Scarlet Riot, thank you guys very much. Have a good show. Cheers, mate.